Good morning everyone. Today's topic is RSI for neonates. RSI is Rapid Sequence Intubation. RSI is a special technique for endotracheal intubation that is used where the patient is at a high risk of pulmonary aspiration or impending airway compromise. The three standard medication for neonate during RSA is atropine, the second one is fentanyl and third one is succinylcholine. RSA drugs are not administered in the following cases. An emergent arresting infant, an infant who cannot be mask packed effectively, an infant who required epinephrine inhalation due to post extubation strider and may have a compromised swollen airway. An infant with high potassium, an infant with a known or suspected neuromuscular condition. The first one is atropine. Atropine helps to prevent bradycardia during endotracheal intubation. The usual dose of atropine is 0.01 mg per kg IV to 0.02 mg per kg per dose or 10 microgram per kg over 1 minute. The recommended neonatal standard concentration for atropine is 0.05 mg per ml, 0.1 mg per ml, 0.4 mg per ml and 1 mg per ml. Monitoring of heart rate is necessary while administering atropine. Solution compatibility, normosaline and B5 percentage. Atropine calculation. Stock 0.5 mg in 1 ml. Preparation dilute 1 ml of atropine plus 9 ml of normosaline or D5 percentage. So after dilution we, we have 10 ml which contains 0.5 mg. 1 ml equal to 0.5 mg divided by 10 ml you will get 0.05 mg is the standard concentration. Dose ordered 0.01 mg per kg IV. Weight of the baby 3 kg. Formula dose order times weight times volume divided by concentration. Dose ordered is 0.01 mg. Weight is 3 kg times volume 10 ml divided by the concentration 0.5 mg. We, we will get 0.6 ml. Second example for atropine calculation. Mm, the dose ordered is 10 microgram per kg IV. Weight of the baby is 3 kg. Formula same formula dose order times weight times volume divided by the concentration. Here the ordered dose is in microgram. 10 microgram times weight 3 kg times volume 10 ml divided by the concentration 500 microgram. You will get 0.6 ml. Second one is fentanyl bolus. It is used as analgesic and sedative prior to intubation. Naloxone should be readily available to reverse adverse effect because it is an antidote for fentanyl. The recommended neonatal standard concentration is 10 microgram per ml. Solution compatibility normosaline and D5 percentage. Usual dosage is 2 microgram per kg IV over 3 to 5 minutes. Fentanyl calculation stock 500 microgram at 10 ml that is 100 microgram in 2 ml. Preparation dilute 2 ml of fentanyl plus 8 ml of normosaline or D5 percentage. So after dilution we have 10 ml which contains 100 microgram. 1 ml equal to 100 microgram divided by 10 ml equal to 10 microgram that is a standard concentration. Dose order 2 microgram per kg IV. Weight of the baby is 3 kg. Formula same formula dose order times weight times volume divided by the concentration. So the dose ordered is 2 microgram times weight 3 kg times volume 10 ml divided by the concentration 100 microgram. You will get 0 0.6 ml. Next one is succinylcholine. Succinylcholine is useful for facilitating endotracheal intubation. It is a muscle relaxant. The usual dose of succinylcholine is 1 to 2 mg per kg IV. The recommended neonatal standard concentration is 1 to 2 mg per ml. Succinylcholine must be accompanied by adequate analgesia or sedation. Monitor oxygen saturation, heart rate and blood pressure continuously by administering succinylcholine. Succinylcholine calculation. Stock 100 mg in 2 ml. Preparation dilute 2 ml that is 100 mg of succinylcholine plus 48 ml of normosaline or D5 percentage. So after dilution we have 50 ml which contains 100 mg. 1 ml equal to 100 mg divided by 50 ml will get 2 mg that is a standard concentration. Dose order 2 mg per kg. Weight of the baby is 3 kg. 
formula dose order times weight times volume divided by the concentration dose order is 2 milligram times 3 kg times volume 50 ml divided by 100 microgram you will get 3 ml morphine although morphine is not recommended for rsa because of its longer peak effect that is 10 to 20 minutes if morphine is used drug should be administered in the following order morphine then atropine then succinylcholine thank you if you like this video, please subscribe my channel.